Hey everybody, how's it going tonight? Uh, so on one of my previous videos, a, a viewer asked me, um, how would you make an HDRI um, have no sky so that you only take the buildings and the ground, trees, that sort of thing, uh, and bring in the Lumion? Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. I will kind of have a small disclaimer that I don't think this is the best way of doing it. I do actually think that you should keep the skies from the HDRI in. Um, because I just find that it blends together with the scene perfectly, obviously, because it's a photo. Uh, and you also don't get these weird edges where uh, you kind of will see this, um, in this in this video, I think. But when you cut around a building or like a tree and then you have the real skies in the background, it, it kind of warps. Like you can sort of tell that the buildings are not supposed to be there. Uh, it doesn't look as flawless as this. Uh, I did get this um, texture from HRI Haven. So I'm going to leave a link to this one down below. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm just going to grab the uh, magic wand tool. Uh, if you don't see it here, just right click and it should be uh, one of three here. I'm going to click that and I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to delete this and I'm just going to kind of go around here and like get all these edges around here. Uh, get rid of this. Um, I, I find this is the best tool. Um, if you have like a kind of a bunch of little areas here, you can just zoom in and kind of grab them. Hopefully this works. Um, you want to grab as much of this as you can. Um, although it's not the most important thing if there are some, um, it just, this is the reason why I don't like it is because you kind of always have this stuff too. It's like you have all these little like patchy things. Um, and I, I just don't like that. So if you get rid of all this stuff here and just kind of keep cleaning it up here, then you can remove all this. Uh, when you do bring it from Photoshop to Lumion, uh, you do need to make sure that you're bringing in a PNG so that the, um, the transparency will be there. Cause if you do a JPEG, it, it won't work. Like it'll, uh, it'll just put like a white background in or whatever the default is. Um, so yeah, if I just grab all these things, and what I'm doing right now is I'm just going through and trying to delete all the little tiny things that we missed, like these things here. So if I zoom in here, you get all these little like areas and you can see those quite well uh, in Lumion. That's why I'm just trying to get as, rid of as many as I can. Maybe just get rid of this little area here. Maybe shave this down a little bit more. And then yeah, it's there's only so much that you can do with this style. Um, I'm sure there's like an easier way of kind of going in there and deleting it. Like maybe you can select by color or something. But, uh, you know, just for the, the purpose of this tutorial, this will be good enough. Uh, so, yeah, I'll come in here, start clicking around again, get rid of some of the bigger areas. And, yeah, so I'll come in here, grab the rectangle tool again, and this should be pretty much done. But um, what this is now going to let us do is when we bring it into our UV sphere, which is something I also covered in another tutorial, uh, which I'll leave a link to. But... Um, I'll just kind of show you what I did quickly in Blender. So I open it up. Uh, I may I hit Shift A to make a UV sphere um, to drop down here. So yeah, UV sphere. Uh, I brought it in, and then I went to Edit Mode, select all the faces. I hit Alt N to flip the faces, and when you do that, um, you get like it'll come in as this blue sphere. Um, but I wanted to flip it to the red, so I'm going to flip it back. And what this basically means is that the the front face. Um, which is the one that you can see in Lumion, the red you're not going to be able to see, is facing inward. So if you're in your apartment looking out, you're going to see the whole panorama. But then if you fly kind of out and you're looking down at the ball, you won't see anything from this side. Well, you will see the other side of the sphere. Um, but I, I go through that kind of in a, uh, two other tutorials, one with SketchUp, one with Blender. So I'll leave those um, links to those below the video. So, um, yeah, I just went and I exported this. Uh, I'll just make sure that I got the right one. So I'll export that, and now I will open up Lumion quickly. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned, this is not the best way of doing it. I guess if there was like a reason you had to have, you know, moving clouds or something like that, then I guess it works. But in my in my opinion, you should always use the uh, like the full HDRI, just because it, the light passes through it no problem in Lumion. Uh, so that's the the superior way of doing it, in my opinion. So yeah, loading template, we'll go to import, uh, our UV sphere and call it UV sphere one. And 
Yeah. So this is kind of what I mean. Like it, it might be sort of hard to tell uh, from this angle, um, but as you can see, so this is the only this is only the other half of the sphere. So like the the, the half that's closest to us, you can't see it. Um, but if I go in here, I'll just zoom through here. So now I'm in the middle of it. I turn around. Now you're completely inside of the sphere. Um, and now I'm going to bring in the PNG. Did I save that actually? Not think about it. I don't think I saved this. So export, quick export as PNG. Uh, I'm going to go to desktop, call it future parking. That works. And now I'm going to raise this up a little bit so that we get everything in there. And now I'm going to put the material on it. Standard, choose color map, future parking. Let's hope this works uh, on the first try. And yeah, so it kind of did. What we have to do is we have to remove this. Now, well, maybe this did not work on the first try. Um, oh, okay, sorry, no, I know why it's doing it. So you turn all the gloss all the way down, turn the colorization all the way down. Um, yeah, if I scale this out more, um, it'll get, you know, Maybe I make it, actually make it a little smaller. Um, this is kind of a, I guess, a bad example, um, just because it was taken, you know, not to be like a, uh, like a cityscape, um, or like a view from a balcony. But as you can see, um, I missed uh, some of the clouds in here. But I think that that kind of shows like a good example of like why I don't like doing this. Like we zoom in on this building, you can't really get rid of these. Um, now, if you made the UV sphere with like more blocks, then it wouldn't look this like chunky. Um, I just chose the first one that I saw in uh, HDR Haven with buildings. Um, so this does actually look a little bit clunkier than I thought it was going to, but I think you kind of get the point of like how it, um, how you get all these like areas here. And you could go through like all this stuff here and you could go through and clean it all up, but I find it's just not worth the hassle. Um, you know, if you have a, uh, the HDRI in, um, the HDRI that's just like the, the full 360 and you bring it into Lumion and you make it a little bit emissive, I find that looks better almost every time. Um, to go in with these like trees here and like remove every piece of blue, uh, it's it's pretty annoying. Um, as I said, like I'm not really a Photoshop expert at all. Um, I only classify myself as like a beginner maybe. And so maybe there's a way you can check, like choose a particular color, which I'm pretty sure is just the magic wand tool anyways. Um, and yeah, as you can see, like you, you have to do like kind of a lot of extra work to get that. So yeah, that is how you remove the sky from, uh, HDRIs and bring it into Lumion. Um, you know, so you can kind of, if you find this helpful and this is exactly what you wanted, um, then I'm really happy that it could help. Uh, I personally, uh, don't like using it though. So, um, thanks for stopping by the video. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, it would really help me out if you uh, hit that subscribe button and you could uh, stick around for some uh, future videos. Uh, for all of you that have subscribed, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I really enjoy making uh, all these uh, tips and tricks videos. And uh, you know, I'm really uh, hoping that some of them um, help people um, you know, get a little better at Lumion and maybe not feel so frustrated. So I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, stay happy and stay healthy, guys, and have a great night.